Hello, my precious people of YouTube. How are you? You. Oh! Oh my gosh. Wait, it's this eye. Okay, guys, please, if you see this red in my eye, like, I don't know what it is. It's disturbing. I had it, like, a little bit ago. Like, it went away the next day. I'm not sure what it is. It better not be pink eye. Who is farting on my pillow? I will throw hands. Just kidding, it's not pink eye, but just ignore it. So as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be ranking my viral TikTok videos slash eras and explaining them and kind of going through the journey. You guys enjoyed the last video where I reacted to my, what was it, reacting to? Oh yeah, just my old TikToks and trying not to cringe. But this time we're gonna be ranking them and explaining them because I feel like there's a lot of explanations that need to be had. <laughs> I'm kidding. So let's get straight into it. Hope you enjoy this video. Like, comment, and subscribe as per usual to keep the uploads coming. Love ya. And book me on Cameo. Alrighty, so as we can see here, we have the S, A, B, C, and D tiers. And below we have screenshots of my viral TikToks slash eras. So some of these screenshots below are indicative of an era and others are just simply because it was like the viral video that had like a lot of impact. So let's go to the very beginning. The very beginning is this video right here. So this video, I will play it right here. I don't know about the thing that you think. I love you anyway. You can twerk while in this room. You wreck me up empty. Your body back, your booty pop. I'm out my back. Oh! So this video, as you can tell, is a duet to Danielle Cohn's viral video. Where she dances to Usher and twerks her booty. And my video was kind of like a parody of that. At the time, I don't know if you guys were on TikTok at the time, but this was a big trend on the app. Everyone would duet her video and the caption would be like, oh, POV, like the lice in her hair. And like, they'd be like, like falling all over the place when she twerks or like POV, the vent in the background. And there's just like... <laughs> I really don't know how to explain it. It was just a trend. It was just a funny trend. You know, TikTok trends, they just kind of get out of control. So this was the first ever viral video that I had, I think. So for that reason, it's going to be like pretty high, but it didn't have like obviously that big of an impact, especially because everyone else was doing it. So we're going to go ahead and put it at the safe B tier. How about that? And then during this time of TikTok, I was also dancing as per usual. So this was my se second, actually, okay. I would consider this one my first like viral viral video because this was like bigger than the last one, but it still wasn't like the first of the first. So this is just a video of me dancing. I'll put it right here. Put your loving hands out, baby. Bam, 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 bagging, bagging you. Put your loving hands out, baby. This video is cute and all, but I think it's only viral because at the time there was nobody on the app, so it was like easier to go viral. Um, this is nothing like crazy impressive, so for that reason, I'm going to put it at the C tier. Yeah. So next we have the era where I was desperate for the notifications. Desperate for the clout. So over here we have this video. I'm gonna just go ahead and insert it right here. I can be a sugar when you're feeding for that sweet spot. Ah, get me out of this video. So, so there's definitely a lot to unpack with this video. The first thing I'm gonna say about this video is that blanket was not that heavy. Okay, so that was obviously dramatized, dramatis dr dr dramat dramatized, dramatized. <laughs> I don't know that word. Bruh. Um, it was obviously for a show. That video I could easily, you know, throw that blanket on my head and stand up straight, but. Of course, I had to make it dramatic. I had to fall to the floor to get the clout, to get the interactions. And then also what you can notice is in the top left corner, I put weighted blanket, but I purposefully, intentionally spelled weighted wrong because I knew that would additionally create more traction and create more engagement. People will be like, oh, uh, uh, that's not how you spell the word. Like, are you dumb? I have the mind of a mastermind, okay? Like, I have, I have the, the mind, mind of, of a mastermind. Master. I'm literally like, I'm literally like, I'm so like, creative like, like I'm that. literally like, I'm <laughs> So like, I know what I'm doing. That's the thing. It's all for the clout. So this video slash screenshot definitely symbolizes an era. I think it was like 20, the end of 2019 is when I was really trying to chase that clout and then uh, going into 2020 as well. Uh, this video is nothing special. I'm gonna go ahead and put it at the D tier. Yeah, I'm, I'm satisfied with that. Next, we have the spider videos. You know what? This isn't even an era. I was gonna say era, but this is not an era because I do these videos like to this day. You know what I mean? This is like a safe option. This is like a great go-to video. This video was me impersonating Coraline's mom. So let's go ahead and put that video. You're not my mother. My mother doesn't have buttons. Do you like them? <laughs> I'm your other mother, silly. Now go tell your other father that supper's ready. 
This video is a classic. I have like two or three videos of this exact thing. And for some reason, when you look up my name on TikTok, I'm pretty sure this is the video that like pops up consistently. But we love the crawling around like a spider videos. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put that also at the B tier. I love crawling around like a spider. It's always fun to see the reactions. It's always fun to, you know, spook people and say sweet dreams. Hope you enjoy your dreams tonight. I'll be there. <laughs> Okay, and then this next era, I'm gonna, sh I'm just gonna go ahead and put uh, one video right here. This was the start of the blooming era for my account. This trend and these videos are actually what really brought in the followers. This is how I reached 1 million. And then right after I reached 1 million, I quickly got up to like 1.4 million, I think. Um, and before I even hit a million, I think I started this trend when I was at like, I'm gonna say 700K. So this really propelled my account. And I was like, okay, like now people are actually starting to take me serious. Like I'm funny. Like I got the jokes, I got the comedy. I got the talent. This is like a great era for me. So I'm gonna go ahead. This is my favorite video, by the way. I'm gonna put this one in. This is my favorite one. This is the first one I ever did. This has gotta be an A tier. This has gotta be an A tier. I put both screenshots at the A tier. I could have just used one to symbolize the era, but I don't know. This is like the most viral, and then this is my first one, so yeah. Next, we have this era where I would dress up as emojis and it became a trend where bigger creators would actually comment like oh do this emoji or do these emojis and then i would just like make goofy just trash ass outfits out of those emojis as you can tell by this video here but overall this was a fun era it brought it was like my second wave it was like right after the church audio like da, 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 right after that so it's kind of like a second little hump of a wave of clout <laughs> but this is just it's just not my cup of tea personally. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it at the C tier. Guys, next we have the infamous Goofy video. I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here, right now. Now, how shocked would you guys be if I told you that actually wasn't my original video? That wasn't my original idea. I literally stole that video from Benji Kroll. Yup. He did that video first and I was like, this has such clout potential. Let me go ahead and just copy. <laughs> so I posted the exact same thing. Of course, my video was the one that took off. It was a huge trend on TikTok. People would do it and be like, oh, I'm goofy too. I'm gonna <laughs> go ahead and be goofy and throw myself off this balcony or I'm gonna go ahead and be goofy and drink this bleach. <laughs> Which is like funny, haha. Like honestly, I don't even mind. Like as long as people are laughing, like if they use me to like turn it into something where people are laughing, like go ahead. Like whether you're laughing at me or laughing with me, I don't care as long as you're laughing. Your body doesn't know the difference. We love laughs. So this is probably the most viral video I've ever had. Maybe tied with the bouncy hair. I'm not sure. This was a huge uh, trend, a huge blow up. I think I even had PewDiePie, PewDiePie, PewDiePop. <laughs> PewDiePie reacted to this video in one of his videos, I think. So yeah, for the impact reasons, we're putting it at the S tier. So next, of course, we have the infamous bouncy hair video. I'm gonna go ahead and put that clip here. Oh, bouncy hair, bouncy hair, bouncy hair. How are ya? So let's go ahead and explain. As most of you guys will know, because I know a lot of my Twitch viewers are uh, on YouTube now, I was a Twitch streamer. I would stream Minecraft, Roblox, Fortnite, you know, all sorts of things. I don't stream anymore, and I know you guys are requesting me to stream. It's just not my thing. I prefer YouTube, okay? So please support my YouTube instead. But anyways, in this particular video, I was playing Minecraft Bed Wars, and I was in the forge. And a lot of people are like, uh, what is that clapping sound when he's bouncing his hair? Like, what is that? Like, first of all, get your mind out of the gutter. Get your mind out of the gutter. It's me picking up the iron in the forge, if you guys know what that means. But anyways, somebody just commented in the chat that my hair looked bouncy, so I just went ahead and bounced it. It just was not that deep, and I'm not sure why this video was, like, such a uproar, because if you notice in the clip after, like, I literally just snap right out of it and go back to the gameplay, like... It's just not that big of a deal to me. But like I said, I'm I'm like a little bit immune to cringe. So I guess that's just the way it is. <laughs> this, as far as impact, is probably at the top of the top. I just am known as the bouncy hair boy. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and put that at the S tier. Happily. 
Next, we have this era where I kind of like reintroduced my dancing skills because it was kind of on, an hi on a hiatus while I was posting all the cringe and satire and whatnot content. This is when I reached the point where I was like, okay, I wanna be taken more seriously. Like, yes, I'm funny. Yes, I'm goofy. Yes, I can, you know, <laughs> act a fool, get some clout. But I was also like, you know, I want, I want people to know who I am. Like, I really am that bitch. So I decided to gag the internet with my dancing skills. I'm gonna put this video here. <sighs> This video is actually very cool. Like I, I, I do love this video. And then of course there was many more to come after that, but this is the first one that kind of like gagged everyone. So for those reasons, I'm going to put this at the A tier. Like, of course I'm a dancer at heart. Dance is a huge part of my life. I love creating edits. I actually started out on Instagram posting dancing videos, dance edits in 2016, 2017. So it was very early on that I started posting dance stuff and that's kind of the start of my whole journey. So yeah, I'm very satisfied with this at the A tier. Next we have, I guess these two are kind of like similar, just kind of like funny videos. Cause I wouldn't even necessarily say these are like cringe or like satire or anything. Let's go ahead and address this one. So let's, let's play this video. Try not to head bang challenge level expert. Let's see how you do. This video is obviously me dressing up as the emo aesthetic. That video is obviously like satire and a joke because it's like, oh my God, I can't hold my head still because this music is just such a vibe. <laughs> this is like the big era, the big long era of just funny videos that shouldn't be taken too seriously. Obviously me joking, fooling around. I am going to put this also at the A tier. That's what I'm gonna do. Because this last one, this screenshot, I'm gonna play this video first. I am man, I am strong, I am muscle, I am alpha. I am powerful, I'm exquisite. Go ahead and you can lick it. <laughs> this video signifies an era where I was really just being funny, just being funny. It wasn't for the cringe, it wasn't for the clout, it wasn't for the, you know, shock factor or anything. It was just kind of me posting funny, videos or funny skits or just funny things that came to my head. It's just jokes. It's not like satire. That's why I don't, okay. I don't really like the word satire because at the end of the day, like we all have different aspects of our personality that show through in different areas of life. Me personally on TikTok, I got to showcase many different aspects of my personality and humor. And so when you condense it all and box it all into one word satire, it's like, no, like these are all different components and different aspects of who I am. There's much more to me than just the word satire. And I just hate how people box it all into that one term. So I'm gonna put this at S tier because I just love having a good time on TikTok. It's really not that deep, funny videos, fun, cute time. Hopefully I can make you giggle, <laughs> but I guess that concludes this video. But yeah, this was kind of fun. I think I probably left out some videos and some eras. I've been through so many. I had to scroll through my account to find these. And if I missed any, let me know. I'm so grateful at the end of the day because even though I may act a fool, it's all for the fun. It's all for the fun. It's never that serious, especially on TikTok. If you guys were on TikTok at the very start, this app was the most unserious thing ever. It was all for the giggles. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video and taking a blast from the past with me. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. Show the support if you want more content, you guys. I love you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Peace out.